opened fire on the N train, New Yorkers felt a new vulnerability to violence underground, which surged this year. A terrifying subway attack in Brooklyn. And a glaring blind spot. A woman sitting alone on the platform was the target of the attack. No cameras on the trains themselves. So top officials made a promise. If you prey on New Yorkers, we're going to have pictures of you. They're now installing cameras in every car. If you think Big Brother's watching you on the subways, you're absolutely right. That is our intent. But it's not a new idea. Another major transit system has been there and done that. Here in Chicago, there are cameras on every train. That's right. Known as Second City, Chicago got here first. 38,000 cameras in the system, including on every train car. So they've got the cameras in more than 1,400 train cars like this one. The question is, has that commitment to high-tech security made a difference? It is paying dividends now. Kevin Ryan is a retired Chicago police detective, now vice president of security for the CTA, the Chicago Transit Authority. The system is one-third the size of New York's MTA, both grappling with a crime challenge. In one recent Chicago incident, an attacker seen bashing a passenger with a wine bottle. An arrest days later. A lot of these crimes would be unsolvable uh, without the in-car cameras. And yet, violent crime in 2022 up on Chicago Transit despite the cameras. And according to an analysis by the Chicago Sun-Times, violent crime on Chicago Transit at the highest point in a decade. That's right. Chicago spent tens of millions on cameras and security, and crime went up anyway. Well, what good was that if crime is up? Uh, what good it is is, um, is we get to catch them and convict them. Ryan pointed us to what his team calls the wall of shame. This shows the actual, you know, uh, scorecard. You no know, weapons, stabbings. But Chicago transit advocates like Courtney Cobbs say money could have been better spent. The CTA has spent almost $100 million in the past year alone on security. And I think most riders would have preferred for that money to go towards service improvements. Indeed, the CTA facing familiar obstacles. Not enough staff to run the full complement of trains. And ridership only 60% where it was pre-pandemic. Meanwhile, new crime initiatives like canine dogs, muzzled but meant to make any criminal think twice, and the cameras still everywhere. Is it fair to conclude that if you didn't have the cameras, the crime problem would be worse? Oh, yes, definitely. And we put the question to the MTA's chairman outside the turnstile at Grand Central. Is it a deterrent or is it just a prosecutorial tool? Yeah, it, it is a deterrent over time. You cannot judge it by, you know, in a millisecond. As the bad guys realize that they're, we're going to get really good images of them, it will deter them from doing crimes in here. But the question remains whether New York is headed in the same direction as Chicago's system, more technology, but no panacea for transit crime. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.